Hey you guys, I'm Molly with Design Loves Detail and we're gonna be taking a look at another hot trend that I am predicting for 2022. Stay tuned. So today's trend is again another one that I am a big fan of. I've used it in my own home and I think that this is gonna be a really hot one coming into 2022. Essentially, I'm gonna call it the architectural accent wall. And what I mean by that is in, in days past, we've seen the accent walls that are painted or trim work and all that thing, kind of thing, which isn't a bad thing. But I feel like they're kind of going more in a direction of an architectural detail. So elements that might look like they're part of the home and that kind of give it that um, old world feel or, or maybe something that is a little bit more uh, time worn, that sort of detail. An example would be my kitchen uh, stone wall that uh, is really one of my favorite details of all time. And I love it because it has that European old world feel that I'm so drawn to. Um, there's lots of different ways you can do this if you want something more modern, um, just like elements that would feel a little bit more architectural, right? So a little bit more, think 3D, a little bit more brick. You know, if you wanted modern brick or an exposed brick, kind of like at the flip house I did over there, that one that's actually a tile uh, from Emser, it's the cinder block and it looks like it's real brick, but it's a thinner brick and it gives that whole wall the look of exposed brick. So that's another kind of architectural element where it feels like it could be part of the home and it was kind of unearthed over time, which is really cool. Um, in my case with the stone wall in the kitchen, uh, it definitely kind of brings in that, that old world feel. And I really wanted that. It makes me think of the, the buildings that you see in Europe. Uh, they had the cobblestone roads and things like that. When, when times were more handmade and customized, uh, this is another detail that can really take your home and make it feel more expensive, more um, handcrafted, that sort of look. So that is one of my favorite favorite details and of course um, it works well in a kitchen. What's nice about doing it in a kitchen is that there's a lot of space even though it looks like the entire wall from floor to ceiling is stone or, or the brick or whatever your material may be but you do get to have the cabinetry and the appliances or the range hood take out a lot of the space so you don't need as much stone or tile as you may if it was just a Wow. Another example that is a good place to use it is like your living room. Um, here's an example from the parade home that I went to a couple months ago. This was from Remedy Design and RC Dent Construction. They did such a beautiful job on this home and it had a similar feel to kind of like my kitchen, like that more European inspired look. And this one does have the fireplace, which helps you not have to do as much, but that is a lot of stone because it's a big, beautiful wall and it totally warms up that space, gives it some interest and detail. And I love how you wouldn't think that stone would give you a feeling of warmth or coziness, uh, but if that were just a plain wall, you can see how um, it kind of can sometimes feel sterile when you don't have these types of architectural details. So things like adding beams, or like in this case, the architectural, architectural accent wall with the stone, it really does make a space feel inviting and cozy and really custom handmade type feel. So this one is just such a beautiful space and you can kind of see what I'm talking about with taking something that might be plain and just adding in that detail that takes it to the next level. So I think we're gonna to continue to see this trend play out with these types of materials where it feels like these details are part of the home and the construction aspect. For many years, I think that that stuff like this wasn't done just because of the expense. And in days gone by, of course, people use the materials that they had around. So they had stone around and they had, um, you know, whatever it may be or, or brick or whatever. And so those were incorporated into the construction of the home. Just like with mine, the kitchen wall, that is a natural local flagstone, which by the way, if you guys are looking for the exact name and all that stuff, it's included in our source guide. We have a, for this home remodel, we've got the finishes and a whole source guide that's an instant download PDF file. It's avail available through our Etsy shop and it is 20% off with code THANK YOU. So if you guys are interested in getting that, it has um, where we ordered our stone, flooring names, the carpet, all the different finishes that went into this project all in one file and you get the 20% off of course with code THANK YOU. So that's um, a good resource if you're looking to do something the same style and we also have a guide for our last home that we built, the European Organic Modern one. Each of those kind of have their own you know, their own style, even though it's 
very similar. It kind of still fits kind of within my, my style. And that's something to think about too with trends. Uh, make sure that you don't do something just because it's a trend. Make sure it resonates with you and it's something that you want long term because of course at the end of the day, you know, a lot of us live in our homes a long time. I don't know about us because we are always <laughs> get tempted to build but um, basically you know I go into every single home building it as if it's gonna be where we live forever because I want to have things that to me are are timeless and what are truly my style not just a trend so definitely something to be thinking about but hopefully this gives you guys some inspiration as you are planning and designing your spaces and I will see you next time. Uh, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of future videos. We have a lot coming with the flip house, the new flip, in case you missed that, it's a couple videos back. We did a, a little walkthrough of where we're at right now, and that one's gonna be really fun. We're gonna do it as cost-effectively as we can without um, compromising style, of course. I still think it's gonna be really amazing, even if we go more budget-friendly. A lot of you guys have been asking about flooring, and I will be sharing the LVP, the flooring that we use. It looks like wood and I think it's a beautiful product. So I'm super excited to be using that because it is a lot more uh, cost friendly than a lot of the hardwoods are and really durable with kids and pets and stuff like that. So stuff to look forward to and thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.